presenting with a new um, eye quad that I got. It's a really, really dark one, and I thought it might be fun to just go ahead and shoot a tutorial on it. When I started, I really wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, but I think I'm pretty happy with it. Um, this is the Maybelline Eye Studio Quad in Smoky Night, so it's got a little variety there of dark, smoky colors. So I used that. I also threw in another drugstore favorite, the Walking on Eggshells palette from Wet n Wild. The look is not hard, but it utilizes certain brushes and blending techniques to make everything look really polished and finished even though it is such a dark look. Um, this could be fun for a night out or a date or something like that, but uh, here's how to get the look. First thing, I'm going to take some Urban Decay Primer Potion and blend that in on my lid. Then I'm taking my Maybelline Eye Studio Smoky Night Quad and I'm going with a purple shade, which I feel is actually showing up a little bit blue, but whatevs. And I'm going to pick some of that up on the sponge tip that comes with it and just kind of start blending that in on all over your lid. As you can see, I didn't get right into the innermost corner, but pretty darn close. I'm using the black shade in here and blending that on the outer, outer edge of your lid. Then I'm just going to continue with that black shade and I'm using my fine crease brush from my Essence of Beauty crease brush duo that I've had for it seems like ages and they still work great. Um, just kind of working in circular motions on the outer corner and sort of building a bit of an outer V here. Just I'm really working off the outer corner of the eye and working kind of a shape like that. And then taking a little bit more of the purple and using that to be my crease shade in the inner part here. Because these dark shades are just very cool, I'm going to give um, a nice little border around it that's a little more natural looking. So I'm going to go to my Walking on Eggshells Trio from Wet n Wild, go to the crease shade with sort of a fluffy brush, and blend this on the outer edge of the dark stuff. And you're going to see it just kind of become, in a sense, a little more natural, even though this is clearly an unnatural look. Um, it just kind of helps blend it towards skin tone, you know. We're going to come back to some final steps there under the brow in a second. But first I'm going to take my Urban Decay 24-7 um, liner in zero. Any black liner will do. Really just making an effort to get it right kind of in with the lashes and just go all the way across the top and pulling it out just a little bit there at the edge and then continuing to line um, my lower lash line with this keeping this a little bit of a lighter line maybe smudge over that line a little bit with your finger you know, you just got that nice depth next to your lash line, but for false lash purposes and just to make everything um, be extra intense, I'm taking a liquid liner. This is my Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black, and this is just going to be super, super close, thin line next to my lash line. Nothing fancy with it, just keep it really close to the lashes and you're done. Then we're going to do some work getting this all nice and smudgy and smoky. I'm going to go to this shade again with a pencil brush this time. Go over that outer part. The idea is to get it looking less like a pencil line there and more like just a smoky effect. Then, using the same brush, I'm going into the brown. Brown is what's making this whole thing a little bit more um, blendable. I'm going under the lower lash line and somehow it, it keeps it from getting too deep and dark. I just like this as, as sort of a blender shade. And we will play with some light, which I think really makes this look pop. I'm going to go to the lightest shade in Walking on Eggshells. Use any small brush or a small sponge tip that you can really feel comfortable getting in small places with. And I'm going to use this to go right around the tear duct. And when I'm doing this on the lower part, I'm doing a little more than I normally would. See how I'm kind of covering a little bit more of an area right here? Right around the inside. And then it looks kind of cool when you take it up a little bit right in here. And it almost lightens that, that purplish blue. To lay down some of this lighter color uh, 
right under my eyebrow. Just really highlighting, you know, where the arch is. And then just grab any fluffy brush bare. Um, this is just gonna sort of ensure that that light brown and the cream color are sort of like as one up here. Next, just curl the lashes. Then I'm gonna apply some CoverGirl Lash Blast to the upper lashes. I'm using Maybelline Lash Discovery with the really tiny brush because we wanna create some nice fringe here on the bottom as well. So um, I like to wiggle it right at the root of the lower lash and then just barely kind of graze it through, having some issues with my rollers here on the side. Then I'm um, taking some of my favorite lashes, the Ardell Demi Wispies, a um, little bit longer on the outside, and apply some glue to the lash band, pop those on, and I'll join you with the finished look. In terms of the blush, it's kind of a subtle blush here. This is the CoverGirl Cheekers Blush in Pretty Peach. And uh, my lips, I'm using a trio of products here. So I'm using the Color Burst Lipstick and Petal. Um, so this is kind of a light peachy colored lipstick there. It's got just a little bit of a pearly glow to it. I line my lips with Max Whirl Lip Liner. It's kind of a deeper neutral liner just to give myself a little more um, sort of definition there, but it's not really that dark or anything. And then I topped it all off with the Peach Petal Super Lustrous Lip Gloss for a little bit of shine. So I hope you guys like this look. Thank you so much for watching, giving me your feedback, giving me your video requests. I really, really appreciate it. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.